Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another exciting edition of Transformers Reviews. Well today guys, I am excited to bring you one of the last two remaining Predacons that we needed officially, and as you know, it is Tarantulas. So, one of the things that we were expecting to see in Kingdom was this boy. Well, despite him showing up in Legacy, as you can see with his fellow Kingdom Predacons, he matches the aesthetic perfectly, which, are we really expecting anything else? Well, probably not. Let's jump into some of the interesting features about Tarantulas in Beast Mode. So one of the classic duos of the show was actually Black Arachnia, being the only other fellow arachnid, but they look awesome together. The way that his Beast Mode is, especially with the detailing, and yes, again, much like the Kingdom figures, it is more in line with what a real Tarantula would be, but the detailing is amazing in conjunction with his show colors, especially the little like stripe pattern on his, was it anatomy? I'm, I'm not sure about spider anatomy. Now, the one thing is, is he, like Black Ragnia, is able to hold up his beast mode body, which means that he already has Scorponok beat, because even the stock Scorponok has to cheat by holding himself up with his robot mode leg. Now, as we can see with the way the tarantulas is designed, especially where the ball and socket joints are and the way they're structured, especially with that support going into his side, that's what enables him to hold his beast mode up off the ground. Now, we cannot say the same for his original figure. To be honest, for what, 1995-96, this was decent for a beast mode. Plus the fact that they were trying to double down on his legs being missiles for his launcher. Which, the funny thing is, in the new Kingdom, or sorry, the new Legacy Tarantulas, you can see much like his old toy, he does have the launcher stored on the back. I mean, that's, you know, Black Arachnia's was just stored completely on the underside. But I like this little bit of a reference because even though it didn't have the jaggedy edges like the Legacy one, you can see that they were sculpted in there because, you know, kids and safety and stuff. Also because it would launch like that. And basically it was meant to suspend tarantulas on the wall. And you know what? It is kind of a hokey gimmick that in some ways does limit the figure. Slightly regret that we can't do that with the new figure, but if it means that we're getting a better beast mode out of it, then I guess that's an acceptable trade-off. But before we go ahead and swing on into robot mode, I just want to show you some of the finer details, like those green painted eyes, all eight of them there. Again, we looked at the stripe pattern, and man, I am just digging that. It looks so awesome for this guy that himself is kind of a creep. Welcome. You're in a stasis web. It drains away the energy, but leaves the flesh alive. I don't have any real blood, just mech fluid. It is the act I enjoy more than the nourishment. You know, you are one sick bug, Eight Eyes. Now, what do you say you let my pal go? Now, this little piece right here actually deserves a tiny bit of attention because a lot of people know that this is actually modeled on the buzzsaw weapon that his transmetal form had, which as you can see, forms the front motorcycle wheel. Now, it also gets used as a weapon in his robot mode, which we will look at uno momento. And here's our boy, finally in robot mode, and I have waited for so many years to see a even improved version beyond what we originally got, which when you stack them up comparatively to each other, Although the touchstones were there, there is always room for a greater improvement between these two. And as you can see with the weapon, that is more in line with what we saw in the show. And he looks so much more impressive. Like I mentioned, if you're going to improve on a figure and it requires taking out the gimmick, we're fine with it. This is enough of a reference for this boy. Woo! He fired on his own! Look at that. Actually, the spring gimmick's just giving out. It misfires all the time. Now, we were just talking about the Transmetal Tarantulas' gun also. And while this is meant to reference that, he can go a little bit savage with it and hold it like a melee weapon. Or to reference this, he can actually hold it in his hand. Although it does look very diminutive compared to the original you know, although this could be like in the game Fall of Cybertron where it actually shot the blades, it, that would be kind of sick. And it would be totally in line 
with Tarantulas' original profile in which he was supposed to be a ninja. So that could be kind of sick. But the fact that Mark and them had some leftover budget for Tarantulas and they thought to make a reference to his future form with this gun saw blade thingy, which I always thought was weird how a saw blade weapon shot lasers. But the fact that they care enough to go ahead and do that is pretty awesome. But I don't think we've given the robot mode enough of an overview detail because I mean, just there, this dude is completely littered with details from his beast mode and his robot mode, especially some subtle things like, I don't know if you caught it or not, but the Predacon symbol is there on his thigh, which, oh man, that, I didn't even know that, and I've been messing with this figure for a few days, so even I'm finding out stuff. And I've just kind of really tr been trying to ignore is how thick his spider legs are. And in the show, you gotta admit, okay, it's a CG model, and this is a real world object, so you're not gonna have that perfect level of, of detail, and so I get that. But that would probably be the minor nitpick about this figure. One of the subtle little things is that whenever he would pull out his guns and stuff, this back section on his robot mode, he actually had that, and that's where he would pull out his gun or whatever he was using to fight the Maximals. And so even something as small as that is something that I'm totally digging. So this Tarantulas figure, I can't tell you guys how much I just really, really like it. But I think if we're gonna wrap up this video, there's one shot that we need to see and that maybe you've been waiting on. So, I think you guys knew it was obviously gonna be with his fellow Predacons. And seeing how well the Tarantulas has done, that kind of makes me jazzed for Inferno. I know that we've seen the reveal video and pictures online of people selling him, but I think it's gonna be one of those things that just like Tarantulas, you're gonna to have to review him in hand to see if he's any good or not. And, oh man, just the, the amount of detail that the designers put on him, it's very subtle in a lot of different ways. And unless you take the time to examine him, you're going to miss a lot of that. And I think that it really shows the effort they went to to make him as good as possible. So, anyway, I am just really happy to have him to the collection. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this look at Legacy Tarantulas. And until next time, guys, we'll see you in another review. Game over, Vermin. Oh, give my regards to the Inferno!